What's up YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create an audio loop to MIDI groove template in Logic Pro very quickly, very easily. You basically wanna do this when you have an audio loop. You kinda of wanna use the sounds, you wanna use a similar groove, but you wanna add your own flavor. This is where an audio to MIDI groove template will come into play. Uh, here's my loop right here that we'll be using in this tutorial. So that's my loop right there. First step we gotta do is create these sounds into a software instrument track. Uh, basically, we're just gonna go ahead and chop it up. There's a couple ways. You can right click, use strip silence, quick way, quick and dirty, adjust the threshold, and you can go ahead and chop up your areas, delete the silence, and get it out. But I'm just gonna go ahead and chop this up by hand since this is a simple loop, and it's always more accurate to chop by hand and if you're going for professional production, always take your time to properly cut up your regions. I'm just going to go ahead and do this quickly over here. And I am just, ooh, that's a little bit too much there. And I am just about done. I'm just going to go ahead and cut that out, cut that silence out, just like that. Select all of your regions, right click, and go to convert to new sampler track. Convert, ooh, bring it over here, you won't see it over there. Convert convert to new sampler track. It'll tell you if you want to do regions or transient markers. Again, you can also use transient markers for a quick way, quick and dirty way, but regions is always the best way because we chopped it up. So we, since we chopped it up, we could select regions and then you can go ahead and select your trigger note. I'm going to start at C0. And then here's our loop right here. And if you bring in your virtual keyboard, go to C0 and hit some keys. You'll hear our sounds that we just cut up. Cool, huh? All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and bring in an audio to MIDI groove template. So we match the template of this loop right here. Sorry, the groove template of that audio loop. We'll go ahead, delete that region. Go ahead, delete all this muck out of there and then I'm going to bring in and drag my audio loop back to its fully uh, original self. And then I'm going to go ahead and simply double click and go to factory audio to MIDI groove template. This window will pop up. Um, oh. As you can see from the bottom here, you get these lines over here. That is basically telling you where Logic is going to place a MIDI note within wherever it's going to be within that loop. Uh, if you want to have more, if it's a more complicated drum track, bring your granulation down and you'll see as I bring it down, you'll get more lines, which will equal more MIDI instances. But in this case, it's a simple drum loop. So I'm just going to bring that back up. You could change um, the quanti, uh, the basis of the quantize, but since this is a simple drum loop, I'm just going to go ahead with, actually, I might even be able to use one fourth and I could get away with one fourth. And again, you have also different presets if you like, but basically just change that and you'll be good to go. So then what you guys are going to do is go ahead to your sampler track that we just created, click it and hit use. This will bring it in here and you'll see our MIDI nicely lines up with the audio information in the loop. So if I bring up this MIDI over here that we just created, there it is, our nice little sounds. But of course, you're gonna have to drag it to the proper sound setting. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this down all the way to C0. Right now, it's all on the kick track. So the only downside to this is that you're gonna have to actually drag it to the proper area. So this is my kick, this is my kick, this is my clap, this is my clap. Ooh. And this is my percussion. And I know there's other different percussion sounds. All right, so right there you can see how easy it is to basically take an audio loop, create a sampler track, match the groove, and then kind of add your own drum flavor into it. And by say when you add your own flavor into it, basically let's say you want to add another kick over here. Ooh. 
you know what I mean? You can add your own drum sounds with the same sounds into the loop with the basis of that groove into it by simply creating your own software instrument track and then creating an audio to MIDI groove template with that software instrument track that you just created. If you have questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section below. More good videos always coming soon, so remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.